Oh no! You know, I was wandering through Toys R Us the other day, and um, as I was, you know, trying to find out what figures and stuff that'd come in, and I found this, the Raccoon, the Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City Vector figure. Now, um, I played the game, uh, it was okay, I, I, it was kind of fun, but um, it wasn't the greatest game I ever played, but it wasn't the worst game I ever played, but I did like it, but one of the things that I really uh, thought was cool was Vector. Now, I, I, whether, I don't know whether you all realize this or not, but I'm actually, um, I don't actually review toys, you know, as a, as a job. Um, I actually train uh, military law enforcement personnel and uh, special teams, and I do executive protection and train executive protection teams. And I really travel all over the world and do that. And I'm also on a couple teams, uh, extraction teams, so that if something goes bad in, in different parts of the world that we can... Um, We'll go get them for a price, obviously. But uh, and so on the team, I, I'm basically the resident sneak. Um, we've got a lot of great guys that are through the door guys, you know, um, doing dynamic entries and things like that and stuff. But I'm more the guy that likes to sneak around. And my partners, uh, you know, some of the team. I've got a partner who's really gangbusters. He, I mean, he's just like shooting everything. Um, he's like that in video games. He's like that in real life. But me. If I can avoid making a sound, I will. And so when I saw this, because this that's who Vector is in Operation Raccoon City. Now, I actually didn't play with him all that much in the game, simply because um, uh, there was another guy there, and I can't remember his name, but he had these weird goggles sticking out. It was easier to find collectibles with him, and I was actually trying to get an achievement, and so I ended up using him more. But I love the fact that this guy could go invisible and sneak around, and I actually wanted to go back and play the game and play it all the way through as him, just simply because it was a very, very cool idea. So it was for a bit of nostalgia that I bought this figure, and I really wish they had these active camouflage suits out there where I could buy one, because I would get one. Very, very cool stuff. Now, he's also a master hand-to-hand -hand combative, and um, since I spent most of my time, and, uh, and even still to this day, still train people in Krav Maga and different things like that, uh, I, that I really like that as well. Now on the back here, you can kind of see a little bit of a bio, both of the game and of Vector himself. You can see him right here with his knife uh, drawn back, and so that's kind of cool. But let's get him open. Now I think he, so far, as far as I can tell, he's the only one that NECA has made, and that's who made it, NECA, uh, of this series. Now, there, it was a pretty large team, so I can imagine why they didn't make a bunch of other ones. Now, they, now Play Arts Kai, now they've made a couple. They've made like Lupo. Uh, I think she's the only one that might have been released already. Vector Up Close, kind of a cool, a very cool sculpt. You can see on the sides of him, you can see how they kind of, uh, it's like textured. Well, those are actually supposed to be mirrors that allow with the camouflaging and stuff like that. He's got a power pack on the back. I'm assuming that that's not only part radio, but also to power the suit. Because you, can you imagine the juice this thing must pull? Now he's got a little bit of a tunic going on there. The tunic kind of keeps him from moving all that much. Kind of bad for a martial artist. He's got some de decent articulation and stuff in here. Um, and I've seen some pictures of him with some very cool poses, but I'm not sure how. So you can see that articulation. Uh, foot has ha a little bit of a half thing right there. His hands move. I'm not sure how you do all those poses with um, with him because he is very stiff. The gun itself is removable. You can pull back the straps and pull out the pistol. I think that's great. I think NECA did an excellent job with this guy. Very, very cool. All the way around. Very nice looking figure. Uh, this is, I think, 16, 17 bucks, something like that. I got it because I'm a bit nostalgic. If you like the game, or if you just like a cool looking guy, this would be a great figure for you. It comes with a lot of accessories. Well, tell me what you think. This is Doc Owen with Action Figure Times. I know this is a little bit of a departure, but hey, uh, variety is the spice of life. I, I'd like to get me one of these suits. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you next time. Be extraordinary. Come to AFTimes.com where you can see pictures of Vector up close and uh, tell us what you think. See you next time.